For a limited time, get your perk posters and t-shirts today at radreddering.com. Hey everyone, we're also twice. I'm back here for a quick tip on how to blow through the boss fight. Some of the more obvious stuff is you need Krakens. So if you're running with your teammates, at least two or more people should try and have a Kraken. One Ice Kraken in particular, and you get that from killing a water zombie and using the Ice Kraken upgrade to get that ability. So what that does is it stuns the Blight Fathers and the other zombies, so it's a great crowd control item next you need to have monkeys got to have at least two different players with monkeys that makes things so easy when you can spread other things out on top of that gobble gums i would recommend or elixirs rather whatever you prefer to call them at this point it's a hard habit to break you could use undead man walking at the end of the fifth phase of this boss fight and that makes things a whole hell of a lot easier with that said there is also anything that gives you full power so you can keep spamming your staffs that is the one thing that seems to be very helpful is having everyone on the team running the scepter of raw that allows you to keep your perks even when you're down and to create a slow bubble at level three where you can just hammer away you don't worry about the zombies and kill the big bad boss but as you've been seeing on screen now here's the real key here's the thing that players have been saying yeah it does really well but i haven't seen anybody actually showcasing it it's the rocket launcher the alien is unreal the thing cheese this fight so much faster than any of the other fights me and milo last night went 31 minutes trying to beat this boss fight and we didn't even make it halfway through the eye we made this whole boss fight in under 18 minutes this time around and we only were slowed down by the first couple steps where we don't even get to hit him when we're doing right now you can see the phase in the state rooms he wasn't even getting a chance to go to the left side until his final phase. We were able to do enough damage on him with just one rocket launcher and a couple bullets to be knocking him into a full phase of death. So if you don't know, there's a reset as the eye cracks and cracks and gets worse and worse. Now, my suggestion is you run a whole team of these Hellion rocket launchers and this will go so quickly. It will be so easy you will decimate this boss fight. There was only one person, me, in this game running the rocket launcher, fully upgraded, four times pack-a-punch, and it made a night and day difference in destroying this boss. Now that I've got the secret weapon out, I want to tell you about the strategies deck to deck to make it even easier. This works anyone from one player all the way to four player. I believe the health and zombies scale from my experiences because I've played two, three, and four player. I have not tested this out solo yet. So let's start in the beginning. There's five phases to this boss fight. In the first phase, the eye doesn't bug you. He's just uh, getting you used to what you're going to go through. You fight all the different zombies, all the special infected, the Blight Fathers, the Stokers, and everything else in between the elemental zombies. All you have to do is clear all of them out. Easier said than done, but that takes about two to five minutes depending on what your firepower is. I recommend your teammates, again, have Krakens, have a Cryo Kraken or an Ice Kraken, which slows everything down, and Pack-a-Punch. Try and get everything Pack-a-Punch. Ammo wasn't even a problem in this game, so bring in those very powerful LMGs like a Hades Pack-a-Punch, and that will, for the other players that don't have Krakens and don't have the rocket launchers. If everyone has Krakens and rocket launchers, my guess is these boss fights would go so quickly, it would be a joke. The only problem problem would be trying to kill all the little zombies because they're going to take a lot more shots and you'll run out of ammo if you only have high caliber damage weapons. The rocket launcher also works for the last phase in the wipe sequence, but we'll get to that. Make sure you always grab your carpenter and max ammo before you go into the next phase. If you need to get it early, grab it so you don't die. But if you can save it and you can get through the phase without using it, you're that much better off for the next fight. In the second phase, you end up in the engine room, and that's pretty darn chaotic. I recommend everybody always stays on the move. Try and have two players up top and two on the bottom. This way, you can continue to run in circles in time and space you're throwing of homunculi. We didn't use, or monkeys, if you're unfamiliar with the new monkey system, we didn't use much of anything in that boss fight besides equipment, which helped us get even more monkeys. That's a classic elixir that grants you a full instant activation of your equipment. So you get two more of your homunculi. And that's perfect if two or three people have it, because now with the max ammos you get every time you complete a round and enter the next round, you're increasing the amount 
of homunculus you get. Now you could try and hoard that to the end because we had undead man walking. So it'd be better that you could pop anywhere from four to six homunculus, hit the max ammo, and you have another four to six homunculus so you can go to town on the eye. Once you survive the second phase, which the big key here is now the eye starts giving little ice circles. If you get frozen in them, knife them to get free. Other than that, it's just dodging and shooting. Anybody with the rocket launcher, take down the Blight Fathers. It actually locks on to the mini boss bad guys, and you can just spray and click that down. Four shots will always take them down at lower levels. I don't know post 30 if it's as effective. I imagine it would not be. But anything, if you're in the low in the 20s, it takes them down. Third phase of the boss fight in the state rooms. Here I recommend pushing all the way up to the front hallway and having the person with the cryo kraken crowd controlling. That person should be going back and forth making sure to keep the zombies and the stokers off the people with the rocket launchers or the machine guns that are going to be doing damage to the eye. The eye seems to always start on the left side so you can prep for it and it fires a beam and it goes side to side until you defeat it and crack its eye and then it'll start at the left side again. This happens five times. Once you crack the cornea a final time then you go on to the fourth phase. What I recommend if you're having trouble with the stateroom phase is putting down your staffs of raw to slow down zombies and make sure they rev you. If everyone's down during the final step there, the staffs of raw, you can crawl into the bubble, a level 3 staff of raw, and it will revive you and the game will continue. Another must-have perk in this sequence would be time slip and dying wish. It is an absolute game changer because of the fifth phase. But we'll get to that. Fourth phase. You don't have a lot of cover on this, so spamming homunculi is the best thing to do at this point. This keeps them off your back as you continue to shoot the eye out of the sky. It's very straightforward from this point on because all you're doing is lining up your rocket shots and your Kraken shots or any machine gun shots you have and trying to hit the eye. It's a little difficult to hit with the Kraken because there's an arc on it and it doesn't do as much damage as the rocket launcher which locks on to the weak spot of the boss. So I recommend using machine guns, pack-a-punch, LMG, submachine guns, and using the rocket launcher. That's the number one item you want to cheese this fight. And finally, in the final boss fight, having undead man walking or just throwing anything you can to distract, training zombies by the end of the porch, killing the Blight Fathers with the rocket launchers, throwing your monkeys, having one person on top of the deck, they can continue to follow the eye and just go to town with the rocket launcher as you see in my final gameplay. We went through the final phase of the boss fight so quickly it was wonderful now to explain why dying wish is important there is a sequence when the eye will start screaming and it will instantly kill everybody if you can't knock it out of that sequence what was once thought that only a normal kraken can knock it out of that sequence isn't true with the rocket launcher we were able to do enough damage quick enough to knock it out of that sequence if you mess up dying wish will trigger and you won't fail the sequence. That's why it's a must have perk for this final boss fight in case any hiccups happen. So that's my tip to you. Those are my strategies that we use as well to have an absolutely flawless boss fight. We also were running gobble gums just in case legendary ones or elixirs that if you go down, you pop the elixir, everybody comes back with their full perks, full guns and full ammunitions. It's one of the legendary ones. So if you have the luxury of those higher elixirs those are the ones to use but you don't have to the real key here is getting rocket launchers i hope this helps you in your voyage of despair quests after 17 hours on this map i feel like i have mastered this quest and i'm not as angry at it as i once was thank you so much for watching i'm rouse 27 make sure you subscribe for much more call of duty zombies content as i have more ciphers coming your way breakdowns about the storyline everything i'm not just gonna poop out the cutscenes like most people do i actually want to do a breakdown and give you the context of what they mean in the story so we'll get to that i'm rouse 27 for the last time and i will see you in the next video be safe and i'll see you bye bye now do you miss Jug? Well, guess what? I have a new t-shirt for you. Yeah, you! Here, you can get the brand new Big and Strong t-shirt at RadRendering.com if you're into that kind of stuff. You know, it probably looks pretty good. Let me show you. Whoa, look at that! Movie magic! Go ahead and pick up those at RadRendering.com. Or don't! You're an adult. Live your life. Yeah, look at that shirt. Yeah, it goes to helping the channel and you get something cool. Alright then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now! Get out of here, you little scamp! Make sure you subscribe for all your Black Ops 4 news, coverage, and zombie storylines. I'll have more streams and theories and explanation videos coming your way, so stay tuned. And have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye now.